Hi, my name's Lee, and today's deeper dive is into one of the hottest topics in tech, humanoid robots. While they haven't started showing up in most public spaces yet, most people know they're coming soon. So when do we need to be concerned about the evolution of humanoid robots reaching the point that they become a danger to us, to humanity? And will that ever even really happen? Well, I want to tackle the idea of what we can expect to see in robotics evolution over the next 10 years or so. So let's start with a simpler question. Then we'll try to answer that bigger question of when do we need to become concerned? So the first question we're going to ask is, when will humanoid robots start to appear in commercial quantity and will they be sold to the general public? Well, the short answer to that question is that they're already in limited production, but mass market availability where they're affordable, useful, and sold in quantity will likely begin around 2026 to 2028 with broader adoption through the early 2030s. Let's look at the current state of the industry as of summer 2025. But before we do, please subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoy this content. It really helps the algorithm get us in front of more viewers and we'd love to hear your thoughts. So please leave a comment. So let's start our investigation with a look at companies that are in the United States. Tesla recently released version three of its Optimus robot. Elon Musk said that limited production units will be ready in late 2025, and they will be mainly targeted for Tesla factory use initially, with general commercial sales coming later. Early versions of Optimus will be reportedly in the $30,000 range, with pricing rapidly coming in down into the $20,000 range. Now, if Tesla is any predictor, there will be likely add-on functionality available for additional fees. That should be true of many of the robots offered. Figure AI's Figure 01 robot is one of the most talked about robots today. Figure has signed partnerships with companies like BMW and OpenAI. Pilot programs are happening now, but commercial sales to businesses will likely start in later, later in 2025 or even ramp up in 2026. Agility Robotics makes a robot called Digit, which is more bird-like than fully human-shaped, and Amazon is using them in pilot programs and warehouses now. Sales to businesses began in 2024, but it's not yet aimed at the home consumer market. Boston Robotics' famous Atlas robot is probably the most expensive of the batch, with pricing and a timeline for production at scale not published, but expected to be no earlier than 2026 and in the $100,000 range. Aptronics is building Apollo, another human-like robot, focusing on logistics and light manufacturing tasks. 2025 to 2026 is their target window for scaling up. Now let's look at a few companies in China. Unitree Robotics is currently offering their more affordable quadruped robot, similar to Boston Dynamics Spot, with prices starting in the three dollars to $20,000 price range. And they've announced humanoid robot projects, but again, these are mostly industrial focus right now. The Agibot by Z1 Robotics went into mass production in 2024 with approximately 1,000 units produced by the end of the year. Current production rates and pricing, again, are not yet available. The Model PM01 by Engine AI Robotics is currently available for pre-order and is expected to have a starting price about $13,000. And finally, the Walker series by UB Tech Robotics is in production and being deployed in automotive factories in China, but production volume and pricing is not available yet. So that concludes the list of Chinese robotics companies at the moment. Next is a generalized mass market availability timeline graphic that I think helps you to understand the rollout process. As of 2025, we're in the early production commercial stage. Pilots in factories and warehouses are occurring. Very few units are actively being sold. Uh, those that are, are in the $50,000 to $100,000 price range. 2026 to 28 will be early public sales with small numbers available to businesses and high-end consumers, prices will probably be in the twenty dollars to $50,000 range. In 2028 through 2032, you'll begin to see mass market scaling, costs dropping into the ten dollars to $20,000 range, 
more capable robots will begin to enter middle class homes. This will be similar to what you saw with flat screen TVs becoming affordable. In 2032 and beyond, mainstream adoption will occur with robots becoming common in home services for things like elder care, housework, security, and companionship. It's important to keep in mind that there are still some big challenges that are slowing things down. First is cost. Building strong, lightweight, reliable humanoid robots is very expensive and many units still cost above $50,000. Then you have battery life issues. Most humanoid robots can't yet run a full 8 to 12 hour day without at least one recharging and many require multiple rechargings during that same time frame. Next, you have software. Physical robots need sophisticated artificial intelligence to do useful things and current models still struggle outside of very controlled environments. Now software that allows broad spectrum usefulness is still generally not available and is in development. And then you have durability issues. Human homes are messy, unpredictable, and um, you know, difficult environments to operate in. And robots need to be able to survive the daily wear and tear that they'll be placed under in both human homes and factory settings. So who are gonna be the first to use these wonderful machines? Well, factories and warehouses first, whether they will replace warehouse workers for pick and place activities and for moving materials. Next, you'll have hospitals and elder care centers where they help with patient lifting and cleaning and companionship. Also hotels and restaurants where they can be greeters and cleaning staff and fry cooks. Imagine a fry cook at McDonald's, it's a computer. That would pull people in, at least for a while. And then, of course, you have early adopter wealthy individuals. These will be your early home adopters paying the highest prices like they did for flat screen TVs. So here's the bottom line. You're going to likely see humanoid robots being sold to, to businesses in late 25 to 26 and to consumers in low volume at high prices starting around 2027 and then becoming more widely available by 2030. Think of it again like flat screen TVs or electric vehicles when they started out. At first, flat screen TVs were very expensive and they were niche market focused. And then later, mass adoption came as production ramped up and costs came down over the next five to 10 years. Now, of course, flat screen TVs are incredibly affordable. So now let's compare four of the major robot models from the United States market that are expected over the next five years. The first is Tesla, with, of course, Tesla Opti Optimus, Tesla being the developer. The focus of that robot, robot is general purpose use in factories and home environments. It is in the prototyping phase, mostly involved in internal testing at present with limited factory production uh, use going on. Figure AI's Figure 01 robot, again, is also a general purpose workforce replacement robot in pilot programs currently with partners like BMW. Agility Robotics Digit Robot is a logistics and warehouse task oriented robot. It is in a commercial pilot program with Amazon and uh, ongoing uh, trials now. Aptronics Apollo Robot will be used in factory and logistics operations and there are limited pilot deployments going on as we speak. So now let's ask the really big question when will humanoid robots be capable of independent artificial intelligence as opposed to being tethered to the internet for central AI control? That really is the important question and it's where a huge shift is about to happen. So here's the best informed current view again as of early summer 2025. Basic local artificial intelligence or on onboard processing for humanoid robots will start appearing around 2026 to 2028. With advanced independent artificial intelligence, truly operating with complex reasoning without constant cloud connections will start to be practical around 2030. Now, this will be an intermediate stage during which the amount of local processing on board the robotics system will gradually increase and its dependence on cloud artificial intelligence will correspondingly decrease. Full independence will initially develop for specific environments and use cases and then gradually expand to generalized open environments. 
your fully independent artificial intelligence, which will be comparable to human decision making at home and in workplaces, will probably not be available until 2035 for mass market models, but custom solutions available for specific environments sooner. So let's get a couple of definitions under our belt first. Centralized artificial control refers to robots that are constantly dependent on a remote server, some sort of cloud artificial intelligence that handle decisions, memory, and updates. That's going to be the case now through about 2030 for most robots. Um, independent onboard artificial intelligence is when the robot has sufficient local computing power, like an AI brain, to be able to make decisions to adapt and survive even when it's offline. That'll begin to happen in 2026 to 28 and become more common by about 2030, but not for mass market products until the mid 2030s. There are still many significant technological challenges that are slowing independent artificial intelligence. First is computing power. AI inference engines for things like vision and reasoning and motor control are super resource hungry. You need a lot of power, but you also have to have low battery drain. That's not a problem that's been solved yet. You also have memory and knowledge issues. You need to have localized compressed world models. Otherwise, the robots are going to have to keep asking the cloud for knowledge. It'd be like calling Google every five seconds. Then you have training autonomy. Current AI models aren't great at generalized safe decision making in chaotic environments, things like messy homes or dynamic work sites. This is a massive data set problem that also has not yet been solved on the local machine. And finally, cost. It's still very expensive to cram the needed chips and sensors and energy efficiency into a robot and keep the price under $50,000. So what's happening now? Uh, Tesla claims that Optimus will eventually operate largely independently using an onboard version of its FSD, full self-driving car computer. Tesla has an inherent advantage over most other AI engines because of the millions of hours of iterative learning that their AI system has garnered from the Tesla cars driving on the roads. Massive amounts of data are critical to machine learning. Figure AI is working closely with OpenAI to create a humanoid robot that can hold conversations and make local decisions, but it is still heavily cloud reliant. The amount of data required and the computational power needed is far in excess of current independent systems. Boston Dynamics and Agility Robotics are both focused on physical motion control, decision-making mostly simple and cloud tethered. Boston Dynamics will likely need to find an AI system that it can partner with, or it's going to struggle to develop the massive learning model data set that it needs to stay competitive. What are the projected timelines for independent AI robots? Well, again, between 2025 and 26, they'll mostly be cloud dominant uh, with some minimal local reflexes for things like object avoidance and pathfinding. In 2027 through 29, the first models with basic local autonomy will develop. They'll be able to do things like vacuuming and fetching objects and have basic dialogue without cloud connections. In the 20, early 2030s, you'll have moderate independence with basic learning, error recovery, and limited problem solving on the local machine. In, in 2032 to 35, you're going to have higher level local reasoning skills. They'll be able to live independently in homes without constant monitoring. And again, when you reach about 2035, you'll see advanced decision making, local generalized uh, purpose onboard AI, and these will be true human assistant level machines. The companies that are the largest that are making big investments in independent artificial intelligence for robotics include Tesla with their Optimus Autonomy Project, Figure AI, they've partnered with OpenAI, Boston Dynamics working with AI modularity ideas, Sanctuary AI, a Canadian company building a brain-like control system, and then of course you have NVIDIA building robot chips like their recently released Thor chip, very powerful. So here's the bottom line. Over the next five years, humanoid robots will remain at least partially cloud reliant, but real independent onboard intelligence will start emerging somewhere after 2028, getting much better as we move into the 2030s. Again, think of it a lot like the early smartphones in, 20, in 2007. The earliest iPhones, they couldn't do much without the internet. But by 2015, smartphones were full computers in your pockets. Humanoid robots are going to follow a similar curve. 
So take a look at this generalized concept map showing the evolution of humanoid robots in about the next 10 years. Okay, so now for the really scary stuff. We are already developing weaponized robotic assistants. The question is, really, when will they become self-aware? So what's next? Well, as a famous movie character once said, I'll be back. But I'll be back soon with another video about the market size for these humanoid robots. I think it's very interesting. And the question is, where can you invest to participate in this, what will soon be a massive industry? It's an exciting industry that's poised for significant growth and wealth creation. So the question is, do you want to get in and be part of it? If so, well, stay tuned. I don't in offer investment advice, but I'm going to analyze the market and look at who some of the players are, and maybe you can garner some, some ideas out of that. So that, um, that video, that deeper dive, will be coming soon. Thanks for watching.